Carol with Carol's Polka Dot Party and today I'm going to show you um, how to actually do this new fun technique called um, a cho the chalkboard technique. Uh, I used it on this little valentine um, that I posted on my blog just the other day um, <clears throat> and I promised that I would give my newsletter folks uh, a tutorial on how to do that. Um, I also put it on here so you could actually see it. It's just using basic black cardstock and some um, heat embossing. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I wanted to let you know I, I carry this little template around. It's a little bonus, a bonus tip. Um, I carry this little template around. It's a tag template, and. I like it because it gives me the dimensions on what tags I've used in the past, and it also gives me a way to just snip off those corners so I know that they're even. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right quick, uh, because when I um, snip off those corners invariably, they'll, they'll be different and then it looks funny. It also gives me a little, um, I popped a little hole in there that I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, so then I'm, I'm sure that it's in the middle and not off center like it sometimes is. Um, so now I'm going to start off uh, with my tag. Um, I'm actually going to use the Hearts of Flutter stamp set. Um, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, and actually I love this little image right here because I think that it kind of looks like a little uh, something that you would write on a chalkboard. <coughs> so I went ahead and mounted that on my uh, clear block. Um, and what I'm going to use today, actually, is uh, the Whisper White Craft Ink. Uh, now, you could use Versamark. Versamark is also something that you could use, but because I want it to be a little more chalky and I'm going to need it um, to actually create the chalkboard effect later, it's just easier to use my craft ink. Um, but you certainly could use the Versamark Waterstock Stamp Pad, too. I'm just going to lightly ink my heart. And then stamp accordingly where I want it to go. And again, another heart randomly. And one last time. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is actually um, use some embossing powder. Uh, this is just a white piece of typing paper. Um, that I'm using that I folded in half. I'm just going to pour the white embossing powder over the, the uh, stamped images. Tap it off a little bit. I actually snap the back of my um, cardstock. You can see that the excess falls off. And now my paper is folded, makes a little funnel. Voila! It's beautiful. <clears throat> Where I can put that back away. Um, now I'm going to use the heat tool, and this is the new heat embossing tool from Stampin' Up, and I love it for a couple of reasons. Um, it has this plastic piece over this metal that, that actually gets really hot, so um, it kind of protects you from, from getting burned. Um, the other thing that I love is that it has two different um, speeds. There's a, a low and a high. Whenever you're heat embossing, you want to make sure that you're on high or number two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss uh, just a second here. All right. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if you can see that, but it, you can tell when it um, is done because the powder turns to um, like a glossy finish. So now that I've done that, I'm actually going to take um, a Stampin' Sponge, and this one I've actually cut into quarters, uh, and dip it in my Whisper White Craft Ink. And what we're going to do is actually just swipe it across, um, swipe it across the black to give it a chalkboard effect. So it looks like um, you've erased something on a chalkboard. Um, and I'm just kind of tabbing, dabbing it off just to get uh, that initial um, impression off of the sponge. And you just rub it across. Just like that. <clears throat> and there you go. You have the chalkboard image. So thanks for watching and party on.